An Airbnb guest squatting at a home for 500 days wants the owner to pay her a $100,000 relocation fee if you want her out. She's been squatting at a luxurious guest house overlooking the hills of Los Angeles for more than a year and a half. Elizabeth Hirshhorn rented a long-term stay at Sasha Javanovich's Brentwood guest home. That was in September of 2021. She rented a long-term, what's a long-term stay? So six months was the agreed upon time period. It was $105 a night with fees bringing the total for the six months to $20,793 according to court documents. By the way, this property is right around the corner from where I used to live. But I mean, I used to walk by this house every day. This house, if you want to think of it, like that's my neighbor's house. Mm, from the neighborhood s- that from the neighborhood that burned. Clearly, their house did not burn. It's kind of a strange looking boxy house. It's kind of a cool house. It's funny you say that because I agree it is strange looking. But we used to walk by it all the time and look, that that is like a corrugated metal that it's on the front facade. It's pretty cool. Yeah. But uh, anyway, um, her Airbnb stay ended in April 2022. And she's been living there rent free ever since then, since April of 2022. This is a nightmare. A judge ruled that under the city's rent stabilization ordinance, Javanovich has no legal reason, Javanovich is the person who owns that place, has no legal reason to evict her under Los Angeles' recently adopted Just Cause Ordinance. Unless you have Just Cause, I guess you can't get rid of somebody. How come, how about because she hasn't paid anything? Really? And listen to this judgment from the bench, from the court. Would be required to pay her a relocation fee if you want to evict her. It's the home of the tenant until the landlord gets a judgment, however distasteful that is to your client. So they've got to go through the courts now. Who's this guy? This guy is uh, Jovanovich, okay, the owner of the place. Okay. In an email to Jovanovich's lawyer, Hirshhorn's attorney argued $100,000 is what her client wants it's quote the cheapest way of getting the whole ordeal behind us okay let's so let's just recap she pays 20 grand for six months she wants a hundred grand to leave the property yep he has to pay her a hundred thousand dollars to get out are you joke busting me yeah it's a pretty galling thing quote it is the home of the tenant until the landlord gets a judgment, however distasteful that is. Mm -mm. And Hirshhorn's attorneys also argue that she should not pay rent. She should instead be paid back the $20,793 that she's already paid. Because the city never approved the guest house for occupancy and its shower was constructed without a permit. So she's going to argue that through attorneys that that invalidates the whole deal. After she was caught, um, this is uh, Jabinovich's attorney speaking. Um, she's the tenant from hell. Yeah. If she's right, the theory is that if a landlord has something that isn't permitted, then you can stay in it rent free forever. According to court documents obtained by the LA Times, Jabinovich and Hershorn were cordial for the first few months that she was staying at the guest house exchanging niceties when their paths crossed, sharing tea and small talk. Ah, uh, that's how it all starts. The trouble apparently began about five months into her shorn stay when she complained to her electronic blinds stopped working. When Jovanovich went into the unit to repair them, he noticed water damage and signs of mold around her sink, which he claims were not there before she moved in. He offered to pay her to stay at a hotel for five days while his contractor handled those repairs. Jovanovich even offered Hershorn $1,500 toward any other hotel than the ones that he suggested. 
But Hirshhorn declined, writing back, quote, I don't feel safe being forced to vacate with a housing disability and the high risk of COVID-19 complications. And so this whole thing continued. Now she claims that, you know, again, she shouldn't have to leave unless he ponies up $100,000. Uh, the, I mean, yeah. the audacity. Right. Honestly. Which is a dang word. Yeah. It's a, it's dueling lawsuits and it's pretty wild. Um, Terry I, says the mm. owner should turn off the power and the water and everything else. Yeah. <laughs> turn it all off. That's it. Um, yeah. It's uh, pretty incredible. Anyway. <laughs> Nancy says, try the Tiger Woods approach. And he had his girlfriend pack her bags for a trip and change the locks <laughs> once she was out. <laughs> I'm sending you on an all expense paid vacation. <laughs> yeah. Um. As these cases make their way through the court system, Hershorn is continuing to live on Jovanovich's property. And by the way, it's like a war where no bullets are flying, he says. Every time I open the door, I'm afraid she'll be leaving at the same time. Her door is a few feet from my daughter's bedroom. We don't sleep well anymore. That is the brutal reality. Pretty wild, huh? That is your Airbnb guest from hell, as he says. So... The Mark Thompson Show. It really is pretty crazy. And it's pretty crazy that that house is like, literally, it's it's one, two, three houses down from where I used to live. It's really just a... Nice neighbor. She could be your neighbor. Yeah. I'm glad I got out <laughs> just in the middle. Square says Pacific Heights, the movie. Yeah. That is a great movie for just this thing. Yeah. Hi, it's Mark, and I thought that was great. Hit the notification bell, you'll know whenever there's a new video being dropped, and please subscribe to our channel to help us save the universe.